extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. A new study led by NOAA shed some light on a long-standing mystery about hurricane seasons in the North Atlantic. Why was there a downturn in hurricane activity in the 1970s and the 1980s? Scientists had long surmised that it may be due to, believe it or not, to cleaner air. According to this research, that is correct. Since the 1980s, we've seen about a 50% decrease in pollution over the Atlantic Ocean. So let's discuss the impact. First, I'm going to show you a graph of hurricane activity since 1920. Here's 1920, and here's 2020. And you can see right in this zone right here, the 70s and 80s, we saw a downturn in tropical activity. So what was going on? Well, during that time, we were producing a lot of what we call aerosols or pollution that was being transported into the Atlantic Ocean. And that pollution was stopping the sun from penetrating, or at least all of it. So some of the sun's rays bouncing back into space, that cooled off the tropical Atlantic and limited the number of tropical systems that we saw during that time period. Now, since then, since 1980, take a look at the trend in pollution across the eastern United States. It is down. And if you look at Asia, they've seen a lot more pollution there. Now let's look at the impact on tropical systems. This is a look at the trend in tropical systems since 1980. We've seen less pollution, but the result of that is more tropical systems and the opposite is true in the Western Pacific Ocean, where there is more pollution, there are less tropical systems. I spoke to the lead author of the paper. He said that over the past 40 years, pollution has played a larger role than climate change in regulating hurricane seasons. But in the future, he says greenhouse warming will play the more dominant role. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.